Honduras University of Honduras. It's the largest university in the country. Currently about 80,000 students are enrolled here, but today none of them are in class. That's because this campus has been transformed into a flashpoint against the repression and privatization currently being carried out by the U.S.-backed government of Juan Orlando Hernandez. Today, 10 out of the campus's 12 buildings are being held by students who say they don't plan to let classes happen until they get a response from the government. We're here as the gray zone to get a first-hand look at their struggle and hear what they have to say. Teachers and medical workers in Honduras initiated a national strike in April after the ruling right-wing party of Juan Orlando Hernandez approved a plan to further privatize education and health care in the country. Since then, students at UNA have held demonstrations on campus and formed an assembly to represent their interests. On June 24th, the assembly voted to seize school buildings and implement a strike until their demands are heard. Puede explicar qué está haciendo aquí hoy. Bueno, el día de hoy, la Facultad de Ciencias de la Salud, verdad, de las áreas médicas, seguimos en una toma indefinida, verdad, un acuerdo que llegamos con las asambleas de estudiantes el mismo día que se dio el incidente de que las fuerzas militares entraron a, y respetaron la autonomía de la universidad, verdad. Estamos sometidos a un régimen donde no tenemos educación ni salud pública. Como hondureños, como estudiantes, queremos un, un cambio en el país, ya que un 67% de la población hondureña vive en extrema pobreza, ¿verdad? Personas que no pueden pagar una consulta médica, no pueden tener una educación totalmente gratuita. Entonces, aquí lo que queremos es un cambio total, un cambio donde el beneficiado sea el pobre y no el rico, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí en la universidad venimos los que somos pobres, ¿verdad? Y no podemos pagar una educación privada. We actually are going to get a chance to go inside uh, this building the students have blocked off. ¿Y cómo los estudiantes aquí han sido impacto por las decisiones de Ho? Bueno, el impacto más que todo es en la, pri en la privatización de la salud con los hospitales Priva, eh, público, sus servicios sociales están quitando sus espacios académicos en los hospitales públicos y estos hospitales públicos están pasando para estudiantes de universidades privadas. You can see on this notice that's been posted on the building, the students say as an assembly they decided to take it over on June 24th and that it's taken indefinitely until their demands are met. So what exactly are their demands? They've listed them here on the building as well. They're saying that they want more spaces in these health programs, but also that they want to be paid for their work. Because I just spoke with one student who didn't want to appear on camera, but she talked about how many students in the health sector, after they finish their studies and are doing a year or so of practice usually they'd get paid but for one year now they've been working without salaries that basically means they're doing free work for the community they're providing medical attention to people in Tegucigalpa but they're not being paid in response to the student occupation military police answering to President Juan Orlando Hernandez entered the Zuna campus in direct violation of its nominal autonomy. The troops then shot several students in a scandal that highlighted the brutal repression of the U.S.-backed government. We saw how the police officers came in and started shooting students, and they shot um, eight of them. And fortunately, no one died, correct? No, no one died, but some of them are still in the hospital. But this is not the first time. They had done that before in 2016 and 2017, where they, they even captured students back then, um, 24 students a day like today, two years ago. This is another building which students have taken over. It's the microbiology and biology building. You can see they've plastered it with a banner which reads, We return revolution. It is not violence. It is a mobilization of consciousness. The hashtag underneath essentially reads, we are all UNA, we are all the Autonomous University of Honduras, but you'll notice that the A 
in una has been replaced with an X, and that's to symbolize the fact that their autonomy, the A, no longer exists here because last week that autonomy was violated by the military police, which essentially act as the private Praetorian Guard of the U.S.-backed Juan Orlando Hernandez government. We've been having some police officers inside. I mean, they dress as students, and that's like, it's really, really dangerous for us and for our security. And you're talking about police coming into campus dressed as students. Are you, are these the, the armed forces which essentially operate right under President O? Yes, they are. And their work is to identify each one of the students that are in the strike and then take those data up um, to the police officers and see what they can do with them, um, either like to capture them or even to torture them or kill them. This building is the perfect symbol of the inequality faced by students here. It's a gleaming monolith which stands in stark contrast to the other buildings on this campus, and that's because it houses the Hernandez government allied university administration, which is currently debating whether or not to cancel classes for this entire sem trimester in response to the student strike. You can see students actually broke windows and protested the administration over recent weeks, and to give you an idea of how they feel about it, they even refer to this towering building as the Tower of Sauron, a reference to the villain in The Lord of the Rings. ¿Qué es la tensión entre ahora los estudiantes y específicamente la administración? La manifestación de la lucha actualmente es más por una coyuntura o por una situación del país. Históricamente, el, las autoridades universitarias han, han tenido relaciones muy, muy directas con, eh, con el gobierno, pues generalmente que es de partido y sobre todo ha sido del Partido Nacional, como lo fue la administración de Julieta Castellanos, que era un cuadro de la Embajada Norteamericana aquí y ciertos alineamientos con el Partido Nacional. You likely recognize the image of Berta Cáceres, the world-renowned environmental activist who traveled the globe training people on how to resist the private takeover of their land. She was killed in 2016 by paramilitaries with connections to the Juan Orlando Hernandez government. But those assassins were actually paid by the energy company named in the sticker above. That sticker says, Desa is... Guilty. DESA is a private energy company here in Honduras, which paid two gunmen to assassinate Berta in her home. You encounter her image not only here on campus, but all around Honduras and honestly the world, because she's become a symbol for the international feminist movement. Berta Cáceres in here is more significant because in biology we see her as an image because she gave her life fighting for the rivers and for the... Um, people in those areas and as biology students we we study to save out these protected areas in the country that they're being sold out to um, people from the from the outside in the country y qué quieres decir al pueblo estadounidense bueno eh, primeramente nosotros respetamos admiramos incluso la lucha del pueblo estadounidense entendemos y discernimos de que el pueblo norteamericano no es lo mismo que las autoridades y que la política eh, exterior, sobre todo, que es la que a nosotros nos perjudica, ¿verdad? Eh, incluso he, hemos recibido algunas solidarizaciones de algunas organizaciones eh, norteamericanas e eh, internacionalmente y eh, realmente nos dan muchos ánimos. Entonces, creo que el mensaje iría por dos partes. Primero, a las autoridades eh, norteamericanas que tienen esta política agresiva, de intervención, de extractivismo, incluso de, por favor, pe eh, no pedirles, sino exigirles de que nosotros queremos eh, llevar eh, la fiesta en paz, como nosotros decimos, que nosotros consideramos que somos capaces de resolver nuestros propios problemas internos, de que no necesitamos injerencia y eh, pedirles, ¿verdad?, y solidarizarnos también con el pueblo en general, por la lucha que generalmente se está haciendo, pues, porque nosotros somos conscientes de eso, de que no es el pueblo como tal, sino es un grupo minúsculo, así como es en este país, porque a la larga, eh, no sé si puede ser muy trollado, pero los buenos somos más.
Y entonces sabemos y reconocemos la lucha de ella y la lucha de acá. Y en eso podemos ser hermanos y hermanas.